you frightened me. I've been looking for you. And where the hell have you been? I came by your house and you weren't there. Oh, didn't my dad tell you I was over at Lori's house? Come here. Come on. There's nobody home. Banged on the door for ten minutes and nobody answered. Mm. They probably went to bed early to get away from Cousin Hal. Who? The backpacker from Hal. I told you about him. No, Rachel, you didn't. Who is he? He turned up three days ago. And you know Mom, too polite to tell him to leave. I don't think they even know where he's from. You're shitting me. Dad really doesn't like him. I think he's going to kick him out if he doesn't go soon. And why doesn't your dad like him? He doesn't like any guy over the age of 10. He thinks they're all trying to screw me. So is this guy a stud? Rachel, you've been fooling around with him? No. <sighs> Look, I gotta go. So what's the hurry? Running home to Cousin Hal? Let go of me, you're hurting is me! Is that it? So, when are you gonna tell her? Tell who, babe? You know who. Tracy Johnson. And what do you want me to tell her? When are you gonna tell her that it's over? That you're dating me now? What, am I? <sighs> hey, tomorrow, babe. Come on, I'll tell her tomorrow. Yeah, that's what you said last week. Hey, I'll do it, okay? I'll screw you too, babe. Come on. It's getting late, honey. Oh, I know, I know. I've just got to talk to Rachel about my history project. Okay, don't be too long. Hi, this is Lisa Burchill calling for Rachel. I need to get your history handouts for her class in the morning. Uh, it's a matter of life and death, so can you call me at home tonight on 808-5736? Okay, thanks. Bye. On 808-5736. Okay, thanks. Bye.
study bedroom, second floor. I look there. Okay, then look in the laundry room. You mean they're not clean yet? Hey, I work too. How hard is it to load a washing machine? I thought I asked you to pick up your paints yesterday. I'll do it in a minute. No, you won't, because in a minute you're going to be in the car, socks or no socks. Oh, yeah. So what do I wear for gym? Bare feet? Don't start. You wouldn't do this if your father were here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Oh. You miss your father, don't you? So do I. We all do. Go and get a pair out of my boy, okay? A car. I don't care. Just get in the car. By the way, your painting's really good. Relax, we're not that late. Bye, Chopper! Amy and Trish can't take a call right now. And neither can Lisa, who also lives here. Leave a message after the tone, we'll call you right back. Otherwise, you can call Trish at work at 623-0108. Bye. your dance next Friday. Can I go? Guess so. Do you have any plans after? I can stay the night at Tracy's or Rachel's. Great, I'll call Tracy's mom. I saw Ben Kelly touching her boobs. Oh, will you shut up? Well, he was. He was not. He was trying to, and I was trying to stop him. You we were trying too hard from what I could see. Oh, see, look, this is what I have okay, to put up with. Okay, you knock it off. Well, can I go? I don't see why not. Can we stop, Mom? He looks cute. No, we don't have enough time. We've got to get to Rachel's house before she leaves for school. left already. The car's gone. Oh, I don't believe it. If I don't get those notes before class, I'm dead. That's your own stupid fault for getting it. Oh, will you shut up? Girls, please. This is no way to start the day. Hey girls, bye. Thanks.
much money. There you go. Thanks. You're Bye. welcome. Bye. Hi, Ben. Trish. Hi. Hi, Pat. I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your broadcast the other day. The one about the birds in the wildlife <laughs> park. You know, most people wouldn't know anything about that Thank stuff. Thank you. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm making you late. It's okay. Bye. Bye. Lisa. Oh, hey, Ben. Hi. I was just, uh, I was looking for you. I was wondering if... Um, what? You know, if you thought about what I asked. What? You know, if you're not doing anything next Friday, I thought that maybe... We could go uh... to the dance together. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I asked my mom. And? She said yes. Cool. Yeah, so I'll let you know. I don't get it. Jason never used to be like that. I really don't understand what she sees in him. It's probably just the wheels. You think? I always thought she was smarter than that. It's only a passing phase. Maybe. Well, in the end. What's in here that counts? You really mean that? See you in this chair. For me? But my birthday is not until tomorrow. Can I open it? Go ahead. <laughs> Elise, it's so pretty. And you, bad girl. I hear you've been holding out on me. What? Come on, you can tell me. I don't care about Ben anymore. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, sure. Have you guys done it yet? Oh, come on, he just asked me to the dance. Did you do it with him? Uh, we fooled around some, but we never got down to the sticky part. <laughs> <laughs> nice way of putting it. So, what's he like? He's okay. He's kind of shy, but yeah, he was okay. <laughs> Until Derek came along. Hey, <laughs> we are just talking about you. I could tell. You was checking out my package? I do have a brain, you know. That is not the main attraction. Did I say that it was an academic brain? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, have you seen Rachel Watson this morning? I really need to see her. She's probably screwing that loser, Ben Kelly. Whoops, did I say something? I'm kidding, the guy wouldn't know what end to start. You are so... Full of shit. Look, if she were screwing someone, I know who it would be. It wouldn't be him. Then who, babe? Who's her secret lover? Doesn't matter. If I see her, I'll tell her. Sure you won't come out tonight? We could double day. No way, baby. Uh, it's tempting. But no thanks. See you in math. Who's she talking about? Who knows? Who cares? She thinks you're out to use me, abuse me, and lose me. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. But what she doesn't know is I have exactly the same plan for you. Well then, maybe we should discuss this uh, use and abuse part, huh? Oh, you'll just have to wait <laughs> till tonight. Well, what if I can't wait? I'm running out of time, babe. Older by the second. How you doing? Ribbon here. Here at 3KRP. This is DJ Frank. Hey, I got a couple messages here. DJ Frank, you're the man. Please play my song. You know I will. And uh, Mom, I will be giving you that call. I'm sorry I was a little late this morning, but uh, thanks for waking me up. You're always my best girl. Trish, just picked up something. Homicide over on Maplewood. Just been phoned in. Maplewood? I was just there. Anybody we know? No names, no address. It won't be too hard to find. Here. Have Frank do the news.
she gets by. As I say she does, that's why. You don't want to go in there. What's going on, Joe? Do you know this family? Yeah, Rachel Watson is a friend of Lisa's. I don't know the family all that well, but... They're dead. Dead? All of them? Daddy, Mama, both kids. Rachel? I've never seen anything like this, Trish. We were just here. Lisa came by to see Rachel. When? This morning, before school, their car was gone. Nobody was home. Well, they were home, all right. Did you see anything? Did you, uh, did you see anybody around here? <sighs> Come here. Watch your step there. <sighs> Look, Trish, we've got to keep a lid on this thing. If this gets out, it's going to cause more than a ripple in our little pond here. The word's already out. The people have a right to know. Until we learn the truth of what went on in there, the people are better off not knowing. Now, I'll, I'll talk to you, Trish. Because I can trust you to keep this off the record. So what have you got? <sighs> well, when I first looked in there, I thought maybe murder-suicide. Keep it nice and neat and all in the family. Couldn't be that unless the killer figured out a way to cut off his own head. I don't know. The way they were all herded together before. Excuse me. Just virtual. Mom? Have you heard? Is it true about Rachel? Yes, it is, sweetheart. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. I'm so sorry. But, but I saw her yesterday. We, we were there this morning. She must have... Trish, can I speak with her? Uh, Lisa? Sheriff Webster needs to have a word with you. Hold on. Hello, Lisa, honey. This is Joe Webster. I know you must be very upset, but, uh... I need to ask you a few questions about this. Okay? Lisa? Yeah? Did Rachel have a boyfriend? Uh... I don't know. I don't think she had one at the moment. Think back, honey. Do you remember Rachel ever saying anything like, uh, or her father having a dispute with anybody, or trouble in the family, anything at all. Really? Well, what was his name? Uh-huh. All right, sweetheart, thank you. I may want to ask you some more questions later. Well, that's something. What? Apparently, they had a cousin staying with them. Gave him all the creeps, backpacker. Cousin Hal's not in there. Car's missing. Looks like we have a suspect. Wasn't there something that happened like this several years ago, a family? You said herded together, right? No, I'd remember something like that. Not here, maybe, but somewhere. Look, Trish, would, would you do me a favor? On the news, would you say that uh, it's too early for a statement or we're waiting for a forensic test to come back, something like that? You, you know what to say. I just need to buy a little time. I'll see what I can do for you. Thanks. Henley! Hey, Trish, what, what's happening? Come on, what, what, what did Webster tell you? Henley! Wake up! I want you to find out everything you can about Hal Watson. You reckon he did it, Chief? Well, how in the hell would I know? I'm not a damn psychic. You know, could be anyone in this town, Chief. You ever think about that? Constantly. Kira could be watching us right now. Out in the crowd. Visible. Incognito. Just do it. Hal Watson. Shoot, Chief. I'm on to it. I 
time I'm surrounded by half-witted cowboys. <laughs> Chief. Chief, I found this in the girl's room. Could be something. True love never lies. True love never dies. Ever closer in the night. Precious flame burning bright. Yeah, it's something. It's homework. Phil and Mary Watson, both kids. Matt, do you remember a while ago there was a homicide? It was either in Wallace or Crampton, someplace like that. Uh, an entire family was murdered. Yeah. Killer had a grudge against someone in the family. It was over in Wallace. I think it was the wife involved with some guy. Must be oh, 10, 15 years ago. It was 15 years ago. The family's name was James. There was a father, mother, two kids. One of the kids survived. His name was Charles Henry James. Despite the testimony of psychologist Benson MacArthur, Billy Woods was given the death penalty. MacArthur, yeah. He copped a lot of flack for that. Do it, Lisa. You gotta believe me. Why would I kill Rachel? I was in love with her. Yeah, right. What about Tracy? You in love with her, too? What is your problem? You still pissed at me because I dumped you? Dumped me? Nothing happened, Dirk. Nothing was ever gonna happen between us. I'm just glad I found out about you before you went too far. And just what is that supposed to mean? Exactly what happened last night, Dirk. Between you and Rachel. I think you should go. Don't you do this to me, Lisa. Don't you tell her and don't you tell anyone, you hear me? Get your hands off me. Lisa. Billy Woods was 17 years old when his girlfriend dumped him in his senior year, as kids do. Billy moved away to college, had several girlfriends, but none of them ever measured up to Susan. Did he return to Wallaceville after school? Not right away. Billy dropped out of college, had various jobs, did menial work, was engaged to be married briefly. But nothing ever worked out. Why do you want to know about Billy Woods? I'm a journalist looking for a story. What exactly happened? Well, the trouble really began when Susan got married and started having babies. Billy looked at his life and blamed Susan for the state that he was in. How did he kill him? He waited in the house. They came home one by one, he tied them up and then waited. Susan James was the last to arrive. And he took their heads off while Susan watched. She was the last to go. I, um, I read that one child escaped. He didn't so much escape as Billy let him live. Why? You see, Billy saw the whole family as an extension of Susan James. He believed they all shared in her guilt for what she had done to him. But the kid was innocent, he said. Too young to be involved, to understand. Did the boy witness the murders? They found the boy in the room with the bodies. I tried to get him to talk about it, but he would never open his mouth. Where is he now? I don't know where he went. They adopted him out of town. You never followed up to see what happened to him? I tried. But unless the boy or his uh, legal guardians uh, agree to reveal his identity, his whereabouts remain confidential. I'm so sorry. Have you been waiting long? Ow! No, we haven't. They let us off early.
come she always gets mail and I don't? Because I have friends and you don't. Girls, Give it please to me. Be nice. No. Give it. Please. Probably chasing ducks. But he's always here to meet us. <sighs> Who didn't empty the trash before school this morning? Who left Chopper inside the house when they left for work this morning? your problem? I didn't do anything. You are seriously twisted. If you think I'm gonna do that to you. Oh, come on, you asked for it, babe. You begged for it. What do you think I am? I know exactly what you are. You're a dirty little tease with a dirty little mouth. That's what you are. When it comes down to it, you all talk and no guts. <laughs> You're sick. Real sick. Hey! Come back here, bitch! Hey! Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm going home! Let me go! You made a promise to me, little girl. You're gonna keep it. Please, sir. I should never have come out with you tonight. What is that supposed to mean? I still don't know who killed Rachel. It could be anyone. It could be you. True love never lies. True love never dies. Ever closer in the night, precious flame burning bright. This is Tracy Johnson. I'm not here. Leave a message after the tone and I'll call you back. Or I might not. Hey, Trace, this is Lisa. Uh, where are you? I can't stop thinking about what happened to Rachel. Can you call me? Oh, yeah, I, I got this poem. Listen to this. Cast your beam upon her face. Hold her heart in your embrace. Fearsome passion never stray. Waiting patient for the day. Wow, isn't that something? You should find this genius and give him a prize. I don't know, I might be wrong, but... I think I know who might have killed Rachel. I... I need to talk to you before I do anything. Can you give me a call? Whatever time you get in. Okay. Isn't that cute? Give him a prize.
Hit the sack. School tomorrow. I'm working. Good. Then you can pack up your paints and work on some sleep. Now, Amy, you aren't going to have time in the morning. Betcha Van Gogh didn't have to put up with this. Maybe that's what drove him crazy. The people of Riverhead are still reeling from the shock of yesterday's tragedy in which four people lost their lives. The Watson family had many friends in the Riverhead area and will be sadly missed. The high school will hold a special memorial service this morning for Rachel Watson, who was remembered by her friends as a quiet, happy girl who contributed generously in all aspects of school activity. Sheriff Joe Webster is still awaiting results of forensic tests before making a public statement. Joe, I knew this family really, really well. Why would anybody do this to them? No. Coach, father in football, along with your man, Vaughn. We're fine people. Oh, this is going to be so hard on Lisa after Rachel. She and Tracy were really close. We spent a lot of time together as families when the kids were little. Doc Everett's in there now. And most the same as it was in the Watson killing. We haven't been able to find Hyde and her hair, Hal Watson, our suspect. He didn't have any family around here. I checked some records. Fifteen years ago, a guy named Billy Woods murdered a family of three over in Wallace County. The M.O. is the same as these. Well, where's this Billy Woods now? Well, he was executed in the state penitentiary 13 years ago. So what are you saying? Are you saying he came back alive? No. What I'm saying is, is there was a three-year-old survivor. A boy. Maybe you should try to find him. Oh, Trish. You're watching too much television, honey. I, I can't waste time on a 15-year-old wild goose chase. We'll find the killer. This town's not that big. And how many more kids have to die until you do, Joe? I'm worried about my girls. Look, Trish, just pick them up and bring them over to my office, okay? I've, I've got to talk to Lisa again about her friends. Please? Trish Birchall. Is that Mrs. Birchall? Yeah, who's this? Uh, Robert Player. Um... I'm trying to reach Mr. Birchall. Can you help me? <laughs> I'm sorry, uh... Who did you say this was? Uh, Robert Player. Sorry, I'm, I'm on a payphone. Can you hear me? Yeah, fine. Go on. Well, um, you don't know me, but I'm from Iowa. How and... did you get this number? Oh, the radio station gave it to me. Mr. Birchall supplies my dad with billing lumber, and uh, I've got something for him from my dad. Um, Mr. Birchall passed away three months ago. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Birchall. Uh, I guess my dad didn't know that. It's okay. I'm sorry I bothered you. Um, I met Mr. Birchall a couple of times. He, he was a really nice man. You knew Vaughn? Well, he came to our house for supper a couple of times. And uh, I'm, I'm traveling around, and, and, and my dad gave me Mr. Birchall's number just in case, you know, I could... Maybe stay a couple of nights, but... Oh, uh... <clears throat> so I'd love to have you stay, but we live pretty far out of town. And I don't know if you've heard what's been going on lately, but we have to be very careful right now. Yeah, I heard about it. It's awful. Look, this, this, this really doesn't matter. Um, I'm sorry I bothered you, Mrs. Birchall, and, and I can't tell you how sad I am to hear about your husband passing away. 
Thank you. Where are you staying right now? Oh, uh, nowhere really. I'm, you know, I stayed at Park last night. Park? It's okay. You know, I'm, you know, I've got a sleeping bag. I've got a tent. I mean, it, it, it's fine. Ah, <sighs> listen. Why don't you uh, give me your parents' number in Idaho, and I'll give them a call. Iowa. Iowa. Sorry. Um. And give me the number where I can get in touch with you, and I'll give you a call right back. Okay? Okay. Hey, this is Trish Birchall. I'm Vaughn Birchall's wife. I just got a phone call from your son Robert, who's just arrived in town, and um Mom's working till five, and she can pick him up after. Of course he can. Thanks, Mrs. Virgil. Are you okay, sweetheart? Lisa, Sheriff Webster needs to talk to you again. I promise it won't take too long. friends I just can't believe I was calling them when it happened both times you might have you might have heard me you heard what I said what did you say I told I told Tracy I might know who the killer was honey you should have told me Dirk Metcalf I didn't say his name You said that uh, Dirk was dating both these girls? Uh, Tracy didn't know, and he told Tracy he's gonna break it off with Rachel. What did he say to you at school? I mean, uh, yesterday, was it? Did he threaten you? Kind of. told me not to tell Tracy about him and Rachel. Not to tell anyone. He was holding my arm real tight. And Tracy came along and he let me go. Don't you worry, honey. We'll find him. This town's not so big that he can hide for very long. I know he hates me. Do you think I'm gonna be next? <laughs> no, I don't think that. But uh, just to be on the safe side, I am gonna assign a deputy to watch you until we find him. Okay? Thanks. Honey, wait in the car, okay? You think it could be Dirk McCaff? I mean, he's a wild kid, but Joe, why would he do something like this? Oh, I don't know. Kids nowadays don't need a reason for anything. At least not a reason we understand. I'm really worried, Joe. This is too close. You're not the only one talking like that. I can feel the panic spreading. People are looking sideways at people they don't know. Even people they do know. If we don't put a cap on this thing, and soon this town could fall apart. Look, Trish, you've got a lot of respect in this town. People trust you. If you go on the air and ask for calm, they'll listen to you. What is there to be calm about? 
What would you like me to tell them? Well, just t tell them we're doing all we can, that we've got the situation under control. You want me to lie? The situation is far from under control. It could get a whole lot worse. Can you imagine vigilantes tramping around here? Edgy parents taking pot shots at anything that moves? That is out of control, Trish. I'm sorry, Joe. All I want to do is take my girls home and lock the door right now. You can't possibly expect me to leave them alone at a time like Trish, this. they're not going to be alone. I'm going to send a deputy out there to watch them. All I'm asking is one news item, then you can go home. Please, Trish. The town needs this. I need it. Ben, do you want me to call your mom and let her know where you are? Oh, no, it's okay, Mrs. Burtzel. I'll call her. Do you have to go? Oh, I'm hey, sorry. I wouldn't go unless it were important. Joe's sending a deputy out to keep an eye yeah, on you, okay? I promise I'll be home before dark. I'm okay. I want you to stay inside the house and keep the doors locked. Yeah. Promise me? Say, I promise. I promise. Oh, I love you. Oh, me too. Yeah. I'm at the Virgins. What time's your mom coming? Uh, she said she'd be by about uh, six. Lock the doors. Keep Chopper inside. He's here now. See you soon. See ya. Fifteen seconds, Trish. News time in County Radio. We cross now to Trish Birchall in the newsroom for an update on this morning's terrible tragedy. Sheriff Joe Webster has made a plea for calm in the wake of Riverhead's second multiple homicide in as many days. Webster said his department is making progress with their investigation, and in the meantime, he asked the community for their cooperation. 
Keep a close watch on your children and on your friends and neighbors, but please do not let suspicion and panic take hold. A strong community is a unified community. We need to stick together if we are going to make it through these dark hours and make our town safe again. This is Trish Birchall. Thank you, Trish. And on the weather side, a storm front is moving into the county from the southwest. Weather Bureau predicts thunder and lightning. Yeah, I know. Here she is. For you, Trish. Thanks. Trish Birchall. Hello, Trish. I heard your report. Good work. Thanks. It's the least I could do. Look, uh, I'm on my way out to Old Lake Road off Riverhead. Do you know where that is? Yeah, you know I live out there. Trying to wreck out by Lake Whitmore. Answers the description of the Watson car. Can you meet me there about two miles? Oh, I've already done your report. What more do you want? Look, this could be it, Trish. The end of story. Joe, I promised the girls I'd be home. Oh, come on, Trish. You said yourself it's right on your way home. Can I get the details in the morning? Or you could call me at home later. Trish, I've got a deputy there watching your girls. They'll be okay. It'll only take five minutes. How soon can you meet me there? I'm on my way. seeing things. She was going to call my mom and dad in Iowa to check up on me, but, um... No, she never called back, so... So, you just thought you'd come on over here anyway. Yeah, we heard you, bud. We can't just throw him out, can we? Why not? Well, Lisa's right. We should wait till mom gets home. She's probably already talked to his mom by now. Okay, here's the deal. He can stay, but he stays right where I can see him, okay? No problem. Thanks.
you know, it's an offense to talk on that thing while you're driving. What am I doing here? That guy's not staying the night. Ben, he's just cleaning up. Poor guy hasn't had a bath or a decent meal in days. He should go. You shouldn't even let him in the house. Mom could decide when she gets home. Well, you heard what he said. Your mom doesn't even know him. He says that he's from um, Iowa. Says his dad knew your dad. That's all. So? So anyone could show up and say that. Why would they? Lisa, think about it. Our friends have been murdered. The main suspect is a backpacker that the cops haven't been able to find yet. They don't know that. It might be Dirk Metcalf. It might be you. How do I know? Lisa, please. All I am saying is that I'm not happy about a stranger in your house. That's all. Not tonight, after what's happened. You're being a little overdramatic, don't you think? I trust my mom and my dad. Besides, Officer Henley's here to protect us. I can stay over. Sure, if you want. Hi. Hi. I'm Amy. Yeah, I know. Do you ever get called Bob? Uh, never. Why not? Well, I'm not a Bob. <laughs> How old are you? Why do you ask? Well, I'm 14. And before you ask, I've already had three boyfriends. Well, actually, I wasn't going to ask. Well, I have. I'm also an artist. That's nice. What kind of artist? Well, I'm a painter, but I think I'll be a graphic artist for a while until I earn enough money to make it as a full-time serious artist. All right, sounds like you got it all planned out. Well, a girl has to know where she's going. How about you? Oh, well, um, actually, I'm going to take a shower. Wow, that guy is hot. I saw him with his shirt off, and he was, like, built. How come he had his shirt off? He was getting ready to make a move. He was not. I can hear him taking a shower. Yeah. Because I told him to take a cold one. Got a driver in here? He's history, Chief. Any ID on him? Looking now. He got a driver's license. Looks like, uh, yeah, Hal Watson. <laughs> That's him. Cousin Hal. Good job, son. <laughs> well, I, I, I probably shouldn't say this, but I've never been so relieved to find somebody dead. Aren't you being a bit premature about this? What? It's, it's, it's the right car, it's the right guy. I mean, the guy was a creep, the family was afraid of him. He killed them all and then died trying to flee the scene. What connection would Hal Watson have with the Johnson family? Have you ever stopped to think about that? Or are you just so eager to wrap up this case that you've just stopped thinking altogether? Trish, there will be a connection. Let the forensics guy have it for a couple of days and, and it'll all fall together. What about Dirk Metcalf, huh? This morning he was your number one suspect. Where does he fall now in the scheme of things, huh? Well, we, we can't find him. We haven't been able to since school closed. Oh. So you want me to go and tell the people of this town that everything's okay, that it's all safe again? You have got to be kidding me, Joe. I'm not lying for you anymore. Trish! Wait till Doc Everett gets here. We can establish the time of death, and then we can be sure. Call me at home when he's through. Hey, Trish. How are those wild kids of yours? Fine. Still wild. Body's still in the car, Doc. Trish! Wait a minute. Look, honey, we're doing all we can to crack this case. I've even got the FBI looking well, for... Well, it's not killer. enough, Joe. People are still dying. I don't want us to be next.
All right, looking at the camera. <laughs> Great. It's another one for my collection. How many girls have you got in your collection? <laughs> in case that you've forgotten, Lisa, your friend Tracy died today. No, I haven't forgotten. Especially since you keep reminding me. Hey, come on, guys. We gotta stick together here, okay? What's your problem, dickhead? Look, I know everyone's upset. It doesn't mean we have to... He should have some respect for people's feelings. Hey, man, there's no harm done. Oh. Hey, hey, yeah? Fellas, come on. Well, maybe your behavior's not appropriate right now. If you think I'm making a move on your girl, then... Yeah, you wish. He doesn't mean anything by it. He's just upset. Maybe we all are. This thing is taking us by surprise, you know? day for both of us yeah well maybe you should stop telling me what to do i know and i'm sorry look i just thought that you, you thought that you'd invite yourself over and be rude to our guest start ordering me around like you were my dad no it's just that you don't seem to realize the danger you're in you think i'm stupid there's a sick twisted pervert out there killing my friends and i could be next i know the danger i'm in i don't need you to keep telling me I don't need this. You're just upset, Lise. Please, just... Ah, leave me alone. radio in the car. Who do you want to call? My mom. Oh, okay, just don't panic and stay calm. There's someone outside. I can see him. It's Dirk Metcalf. Where is he? He's gone. Just lightning strike took out the lines. Lisa! I'm gonna take a look around. You think that's a good idea? It's what I do. I'm a cop. I was trained for this sort of thing. Easy does. Lisa, I'm scared. Oh, it's all right, Amy. Lightning must have struck the power lines, that's all. Wait there, I'll go get some candles. Don't be long. They'll fix it soon. Don't be scared. Sorry. You okay? What are you doing out there? Well, I heard a dog yell. Chopper? I don't know. Is he in the house? I don't know. I, I haven't seen him. Well, it just sounded like he was in trouble out back somewhere. Maybe the lightning scared him. Fire's out. Why don't I go get some wood? I mean, it'll give us some light while there's no power. 
Yeah. Just for I would run the side of the house. Okay, man. This is it. This is what you were trained to do. <laughs> Well-oiled machine. And machines know no fear. There's nothing to fear, but the fear of fear itself. Scared of thunder, are you? No. Yes. Where's mom? Why isn't she home by now? Don't worry. She'll be home soon. say precisely at this stage, but from the angle of the wound, I'd say this boy had his throat cut before they put him in the car. Throat cut? 
big boom like that wasn't sustained in any accident. And while it's still too early to state categorically, I'd say he'd been soaking there for at least 48 hours. I don't want to hear that, Doc. I really do not want to hear that! Do you know what this means? Oh, sure. It means you're still looking for a killer. Talk to me, Sylvia. Yeah, Chief, I'm concerned about Henley. He's not responding. Well, that's not unusual. Where is he? He's out at the Birchall house, like you asked. Birchall? You mean you sent Henley out there to look after those girls? Chief, he was the only officer available. Get everybody you can find. Send him to the Birchall house. Right now, you hear me? Right now! I gotta talk to Lisa. It wasn't me. You gotta tell her. She's gotta tell the cops. We know it's not you. You asked for it, tough guy. Please, no. Now you got it. Please, man, I can't do anything! Please, no! <laughs> My Ben, do you know where he is? I, I've been calling around, and one of the kids said he thought he saw him getting into your car after school. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He's at the house with the girls. He called you. Oh, no, I, I haven't heard from him. I've been worried sick. Thank God he's safe. I was there when he called you. I heard him. It wasn't me. He didn't call. Ben used to go out with him, didn't he? Both of them. Go, go out with who? Rachel Watson and Tracy Johnson. Um, well, yes, for a little while, but, oh, that was a long time ago. How long? <laughs> ben isn't your son, is he? <laughs> he was adopted, wasn't he, Pat? He, he's my... He's my sister's boy. the same. You mean Tracy and Rachel? They got what was coming. They treated him like dirt. Used him and dumped him like a piece of garbage. It wasn't his fault. The bitches were screwing that moron dirt. Uh -huh. Just like you'd be screwing this piece of crap too if he wasn't around to stop you. Tried, but they wouldn't listen. 
they didn't get it. Just like you don't get it. True love! You know nothing about it! I do! I do! I read your poems! I read your poems! You laughed at him. Give the genius a prize, you said. He heard you, so don't try to lie. Please, man! I didn't... Shut your mouth! He doesn't want to hear your filthy lie! Lisa! Hey, Ben. What's up? Everybody. He's... He chopped her up. And now he's going to chop you up. It's not funny. Lisa! She can't hear you. No one can hear you. <sighs> Open the door, bitch! <sighs> <sighs>
Chao. You okay, Ben? Run. Now, go! Yeah, I'm okay. How about you, Deputy? Looks like something hit you. I'm okay. I'm trained for this sort of thing. Henry, look out! Huh? Ben, over here. I know what he wants, not them. Time to come and get me. No, Lisa. Don't do it. Come on. Let's see what he's made of. Lisa! Go give him weapons. Keep him warm. I'm coming with you. Now, stay here. I'll be back. Set him fooled. Please, Ben. Drop the act and talk to me as Ben. The guy you really are. The guy I used to like. Used to like? No, Lisa. That's not true. You treated him like crap. Just like they did. I never treated you like crap. No one did. What's going on? Tell me what the problem is. The problem is that I... I want... <sighs> She's cunning. She's trying to get between us. us apart. No. I just want to talk to the real Ben. The Ben I went to school with. The Ben I know has a good heart. The ben who wouldn't want to hurt anyone. But he doesn't want to talk. He wants revenge. 
He wants you to pay for what you've done. All of you! I don't believe that. I'll never believe that. up there? Yeah, we're fine. Hold on, boys. It's under control. Mom! Trish and the girl are coming out now. They're okay. Lisa! You know you don't have to go. Mom says you can stay as long as you like. I've been accepted into college, majoring in photography. Great. Great. I have to leave at the end of the week. I was so far away. Guess I'll never see you again. I'm not going to Iowa. I'm going to Red Hills. He isn't that near here? It's about 90 minutes by car. That means you can come for the weekend. I was hoping you'd say that. True love never dies. True love never lies. True love never bends. True love will have revenge. Lisa? What is it?